Hello and welcome to another Excel video with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I'd like to use the large function to help me identify the rows of data for the most recent invoices, the three most recent invoices uh, to be specific. So the nice thing about the large function is, and I'll illustrate that first, if I do equals large open paren, and let's say I refer to column A, comma 3. This is going to give me the third largest date or the third most recent date from column A. So I hit the enter key and I can see that that's um, uh, February 6th as the most or third most recent date. Uh, now when you perform this function you might not get your result in a date format so you may need to specify the formatting of your answer as short date. Uh, so, because the large function can tell me uh, the value that's the third largest or when it's dates, the third most recent, I can use that information to create a conditional formatting rule that will highlight the row all the way from column A over to C if the value in A is one of the top three. So, I'll select the range and if you want to create uh, some sample data for yourself, go ahead and pause the video and create a range of data. Okay, let's make it happen. With that range selected, I'll go to the conditional formatting icon in my ribbon, and I'll come down to uh, new rule because I can't actually use the existing top bottom rules uh, template because if I do that with top bottom rules, it's only actually addressing the values in column A so I don't get the highlighting or the formatting going across from A to C. So in order to make this work, I'm going to create a new rule. So with conditional formatting, I'll come down to New Rule, and I'll choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Now I can write my formula to make this happen. So I'll start with equals, as I would with any formula. And I'm going to lock the reference to cell A2, or at least I'll lock the column part. So first off, the reason why I'm referencing cell A2 is because that's the very first cell in my selected range. So I write the formula using that anchor cell as sort of the proxy or example cell. Now I want to lock in column A because when the formula is uh, applied across my range, I don't want it to shift to start looking at B and C. So the criteria is always in column A, but I don't lock the reference to column 2 or row two rather because it should change to check out A3 and A4 and A5 etc. So I'm trying to evaluate if the value in dollar A2 is greater than or equal to and I'm trying to see if it's greater than or equal to the third largest value in the range. So we'll do large open paren column A comma three. So if A2, if the value in A2 is greater than or equal to uh, the largest or third largest date in the range, then it will apply my format, which I need to specify. So I'll choose the format button, I'll make those cells bold and italic, and I'll make the fill color uh, blue, and I'll choose OK. And so because I've got the range selected from A over to C, but I'm locking in my, my uh, evaluation or criteria cell in column A, it'll check the dates for the third largest and up but it will apply the formatting across all three columns. So we click OK, and now I can see the three most recent dates have the data uh, highlighted across to column C. And to validate that, let's change one of our entries. So I'm going to change this one that says uh, May 1st of 2012. I'm going to change that to March 2nd of the current year. So March 2, 2013. So now it's one of the top three, so the formatting moves as it does with all conditional formatting rules, it adjusts to apply itself to the rules that meet the criteria. So those are now the top three date values and then their corresponding data to the right is also selected or highlighted. Thanks a lot. I hope you find it helpful. Please come back soon for more Excel demo videos. Have a productive day.